Hello everyone, I'm Louisa Holland with Autodesk Enterprise Priority Support, and this is your Connected BIM News. Thanks for tuning in. This week, we are spending time with our senior VR correspondent, Dave Tyner. Hi Dave, thanks for joining us. Can you briefly introduce yourself to our viewers? Hi, and uh, thank you, Louisa. Uh, by the way, love the BIM news, huge fan, and uh, it's an honor for me to be here. Um, you know, I think I'm the luckiest person here at Autodesk because, uh, you know, I get to help enable our enterprise priority customers to create and then deliver these really rich, immersive experiences that, that leverage this new, exciting technology. Um, you know, these are experiences that drive value and, and differentiate our customers uh, in their market. Great. Dave, what can you tell me about why our EP customers should integrate VR into their workflows and where does it fit in? Sure, great question again, though um, it may be easier to ask it a different way, which is to say, why shouldn't they be using it, right? Uh, VR and very soon AR, um, they're very analogous to the discovery of fire. And right now we know it's really hot, right? Um, but, but we also know that immersive technology is, is, brings with it these limitless possibilities and, and uh, the use cases reside at the center, right? Or the nucleus uh, when we talk about the future of making things. So um, the ability to interact with your data in context uh, in a way that makes sense to your business, right? Uh, that's, that's the power of immersive technology and, and that's what we're, um, we're working on right now. Wow, VR is so exciting. But what would you say is the biggest misconception about using VR in the AEC space? Yeah, totally. More great questions. Um, you know, I think right now there are some really big um, misconceptions, um, misinformation maybe, um, and, and I'll try to list them in order of importance um, to our customers. First of all, cost. Right, a good VR setup shouldn't cost you more than about three thousand dollars. That's a good gaming machine, primarily the video card, and then uh, the top of the line headset, which is the HTC Vive. Um, and so, yeah, so three thousand dollars, not ten, not thirty, not you know whatever the ceiling might be. Um, you can go, you can scale up from there definitely, but uh, you know to get you in and get you into VR in a uh, in a way that delivers good experiences, three grand. Second, uh, time, right? Because our AEC customers' workflows are highly iterative, right? CAD data needs to be converted, converted quickly, and without the need for user intervention. Um, Revit Live is a really fantastic one-click data conversion example of this that, uh, you know, it allows our customers to not only immerse themselves in their design, but also interact with it within minutes of clicking the button. Thanks, Dave. Since we're almost out of time, any closing thoughts? Sure. So closing thoughts, I think that um, you know, these are really exciting times that we're in right now. We're right at the beginning of this uh, immersive technology explosion. And, um, and it's neat to see so many enterprise customers jumping on board, creating these immersive experiences um, and, and, and gathering all the use cases uh, so that we can provide tools to make these use cases easier, deliver value quicker, um, just, just more value in the whole operation start to finish. And, um, and, and I look forward to updating you and where we're at, what we're working on. And um, um, thanks again for this opportunity and talk to you next time. Thanks so much, Dave. Now for our Connected BIM Mail, where we answer questions from you, our viewers. Our question this week comes from, please don't use my name, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Mr. Don't Use My Name asks, our company is in the process of automating crash reports. How is this going to help me, an end user? Well, I love this question. Crash reports, or formally, customer error reports, may appear if an Autodesk product crashes. The report sends Autodesk information about what was going on when the crash occurred. This information helps our programmers prioritize 
what aspects of the software to improve for stability. Many of the fixes that appear in updates or hot fixes are the result of information Autodesk learns from these reports. Additionally, if you have opted into the CIP program, we can use this information to troubleshoot problems that might be specific to your computer. Those are just a few advantages to you, but there are many more. You can read more about CERs at the link listed below this video. If you have a question for Connected BIM News, feel free to email us at the email provided below. Be sure to subscribe to the Enterprise Priority Newsletter for up-to-date listings of webcasts and live events in your area. Click on the link in the upper right-hand corner for more information. This has been your Connected BIM News. Please join us next time. To all of you Connected BIM heroes, have a great week.